Well, hello there! <laughs> Doing a little bit something different on my channel today. In this video, I'm going to share with you the number one thing I started doing this year to start getting free accommodations at luxury hotels even, despite my channel having been very, very small. And I am going to share with you three bonus tips to make sure you get as many nice hotels as possible, saying yes to letting you stay with them for free. So what's up? My name is Wando. If you're brand new to my channel, I am an American girl who fell in love with the Southeastern European region known as the Balkans, so much so that I moved here, and that is mainly what my channel is about, uh, life, culture, and travels in the Balkans. However, I am quite passionate about the experience of being a small YouTuber. And I think so many people assume that you have to have like 200,000 subscribers and like a million views a month to start doing really cool things with your YouTube channel. Like working with a brand or getting a video sponsored or getting free accommodations at really nice hotels and all sorts of other cool stuff like that. And these are all things that I started doing when I was in the period of having 2,000, 3,000 subscribers. And if someone had just told me about how to do these things sooner, I would have been doing these things way sooner, like when I had less than 1,000 subscribers. YouTube doesn't have to be this big secret. Jeez. So this video is for anyone who has a small YouTube channel, or maybe you're about to start a YouTube channel. Also for anyone who's growing an Instagram account and you're still in like the small phases of it, or a blog. So, let's get into it. What is the one thing that I do to stay at hotels for free? That thing is called pitching. Now, I did not invent pitching. <laughs> YouTubers do pitching, Instagrammers do pitching, bloggers do pitching. It's super common, everyone's doing it, but for some reason, nobody talks about it. So, what is pitching? Pitching is when you contact a hotel, either by calling them or emailing them, I email, and you say, hey, I have a YouTube channel and I can feature your hotel in one of my YouTube videos in exchange for a complimentary stay at your hotel. Because guess what? As a YouTuber who's on social media, you are part of the media. And so getting a free hotel room is so great because a free hotel room means free travel. Many times they'll hook you up with uh, free room service, free breakfast, free alcohol. <laughs> my fave. They'll even hook you up with free excursions because they want you to show in your video awesome tours the hotel can arrange. So the more hotels that you send this email to, the more likely you will get a hotel that will say yes to letting you stay for free and market their hotel. That's it. It's really simple. So for those of you who are interested in doing this, in a second I'm going to share with you three things that you must know to get as many hotels as possible to say yes to you because you must know many hotels won't even respond to your email and a couple will just flat out tell you no. So be prepared for that, get used to rejection, and get over it. But quickly, please like this video if you are finding it helpful so far. Also, if there's anything in this video that you have a question about or you need me to clarify, let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to answer your question. Okay, so let's get into these three things that you need to know to do pitching successfully. So the first thing is views. So even though I started doing this when my channel was very, very small, like 3,000 subscribers small, I was still able to get a lot of amazing hotels to agree to work with me. They worked with me because I consistently got a lot of views for a small YouTube channel. I've consistently gotten about 100,000 views a month this entire year. And that's something that I can point to in my emails that makes my channel worth working with despite it being a small channel. So the reason I'm saying this is because, yeah, you can go out there and you can start pitching to hotels, hostels, Airbnbs, uh, rental apartments, whatever. But as a small YouTuber who doesn't have a lot of subscribers yet, you need something else going for you. If you have no subscribers and no views, it's just not going to work. As I consistently got lots and lots more views every single month, I was able to get more and more very nice you know, even luxury hotels saying yes to working with me. So if you have a small YouTube channel and you're having trouble getting, you know, 60,000, 80,000, even hundreds, 
of thousands of views every month on your small YouTube channel. I've linked in the description below to a free tutorial that explains the strategy for how to get up to 100,000 or more views every month on a small YouTube channel. There are ways to know before you even upload a video, before you even record a video, <laughs> if that video will get a lot of views. <laughs> so that's what the tutorial is all about, so check out that free tutorial in the description below. Okay, so number two thing that you need to know to get hotels to say yes to working with you is you need a convincing email with a convincing who, what, where, why, and how. So I'm going to get into what to put into the email, but I want to let you guys know I've also linked in the description the exact email that I send to hotels so that you guys don't spend like an entire day of like writing an email from scratch. So watch this whole video to understand why I write what I write in the email, but just know, again, I've linked in the description the exact email that I send. So first is who. This is where you explain who you are, the name of your channel, and the theme and the purpose of your channel. So next is the where and the when. So you explain where you're from, and of course you explain where you're going. So if you're going to Berlin, you explain that you're going to be in Berlin from January 18th to the 21st. By the way guys, it's super important that you email the hotel as early as possible. I would say at least a month and a half early. If it's the height of tourism season, I would say even two months, maybe even three months because these hotels get booked really fast. So yeah, you explain that you're going to be making some videos about Berlin on your channel and you want to see if they collaborate with YouTubers or bloggers, Instagrammers if you're an Instagrammer, um, in exchange for a complimentary stay at their hotel for those days and nights. Next is why. So there are three whys. Why they should work with you, why you want to work with them, and an angle of why your video will work for them. So the why they should work with me, like I always explain that, you know, my channel is about uh, Southeastern European travels. Um, I have 100,000 views on average a month. I never say how many subscribers I have because you want to focus on the things that make you look really good and just keep attention on that. So if you have way more views than you have subscribers, just mention how many views you have and whatever makes you look good. For the why I want to work with them, I always say um, some nice complimentary things about the interior of their hotel and maybe the location of the hotel. Just kiss their ass. <laughs> and then the angle of why the video will work for them is where you give them extra detail of why this will be a successful collaboration. So as an example, on my channel, I have a video about going to the uh, Croatian Derby between Hajduk Split and Dinamo Zagreb, and I collaborated with the hotel for that video, and I explained to them, hey, I'm gonna feature this game. It's a huge game in my uh, travels to the city of Split, Croatia, and I will also feature your hotel, and I'm confident this video will get tens and thousands of views because this is a very popular game, and it did get tens of thousands of views. <laughs> However guys, there will be so many times where you upload a video and it doesn't go on to get tens of thousands of views or even hundreds of thousands of views and that's okay. So don't make any promises, just explain why you think it should work or just why you think they should work with you. And again guys, I've linked to the exact email that I send in the description below. So if any of this is seeming overwhelming or like a lot of work, my email's in the description below. So just take it, copy it. Don't copy it exactly because hotels don't like to receive the same exact email. It gets annoying for them. You know, rearrange some things so that it sounds like it's your voice and not mine. So next is what. What you can do for them. So this is where you explain that you'll make a video for them. These days I always say that I will make two videos for them and I personally feel like I've had nicer hotels um, saying yes to working with me since I've been doing that. That's just what I do now. You can just do one. I also always say that I'll do um, a follow-up social media post on my Instagram and my Facebook. So do what works for you and do what you can do. And so the last thing is the how, and that is how the hotel will be promoted in your video. So everyone's different. Some people like to uh, show the footage from the hotel in the beginning of the video. Some people like to do it in the middle. Uh, some people like to do like a hotel tour. Some people just show footage of the hotel with some music playing. Some people show footage of the hotel uh, with a voiceover. I've done all of those things. So just 
do what's best for you. Try different things if you want, like I've done. Um, but just put how you're going to do it in the email because it just rounds out the professionalism of the email. So that's it with the email. Before I get to the last thing, comment below a damn straight if you see how easy pitching is and you're going to start doing it too. Damn straight you should because <laughs> it saves a lot of money. Okay, so the third thing that you need to know to do pitching successfully is to work smart and not long because it can be a time consuming process finding these hotels and uh, finding their emails and uh, it can be annoying, honestly. So this is the fastest way that works for me. In order to find the hotels, I always use Google Maps. So I type in the city and then the word hotels, like I would type Berlin hotels. And then what I always do personally is I find the city center on the map. A lot of times you can just type in Google Maps, uh, Berlin city center, Berlin center, um, and it will show you the center. Another trick that I do to find the center of the city is I go to hostelworld.com and it will show you hostels in a city and it will always say, this hostel is 0.2 kilometers from the city center, or three kilometers. And then I'll look for that hostel on Google Maps and that will essentially show me where the city center is. So then I'll search for hotels or hostels, you can search for hostels <laughs> um, or Airbnbs, whatever, that are near that hostel. And essentially, because I rarely rent a car, I always try to stay in a hotel that is maybe 15 to 20 minutes walking distance at most from the city center. So I only contact those hotels. And then finally, I put them all in a spreadsheet that has the name of the hotel. Also the email for the hotel. I always just go with the main email that's listed on the hotel. It's often like info at blah, 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 hotel.com. Some people like to email specifically the marketing manager. So some people take the extra step of like going on LinkedIn and finding the name of the marketing manager. I used to do that at the beginning, but I found that just emailing the main email is the quickest, easiest thing to do. And a lot of times, um, whoever handles that main email will forward it to the marketing or sales manager anyway. So guys, that is going to end this video. I hope that you found it helpful. And for those of you guys watching who have a relatively small or just damn small a social media following. I hope that you guys are empowered to start incorporating pitching into your travel strategy. And really you can do pitching with anything. You can pitch to brands, you can pitch to festivals, you could pitch to sporting events. You can do it for anything. <laughs> it's awesome. And everyone on YouTube, Instagram, they're all doing it. They're just not talking about it. So again, guys, the uh, free email of the exact email that I send is in the description below. Also, if you are having trouble getting lots of views on YouTube, the free tutorial for the strategy I use to get up to 100,000 views a month on YouTube is in the description as well. Uh, please give this video a like if you liked it and you found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel for weekly videos about living in, traveling in, and culture within the Balkans. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And please share this video if you know someone who could really use seeing this video. So I will see you guys in the next video and ciao ciao for now.